Menchie's video of how I clean a model 5020E waffle cone baker. As you can see, this is the waffle maker with the aluminum heads. So the aluminum heads. The tools that you will need to clean it are as follows. A pair of safety glasses, a long handled grill brush, similar to this. These are available at Walmart for one dollar. And I use a handheld grill brush. I think these are one or two dollars each. And I use a pair of scissors like these. The important thing about these scissors is the shape of the end of the scissors. Now I'll demonstrate the process of how we clean the waffle maker. We've been doing it at this uh, Menchie's Quaker Village for two years and Charlotte for almost a year this same way. We've already cleaned the waffle maker. We do it once per week and here's the process how we do it. The first thing we use the scissors shaped like this because they fit into the grooves. We do all the grooves one way and then we flip it over and do the other way. The way this angle is side, it cleans the sides of the grill. So we do this on both the top and the bottom. The next step is to use the long handled brush and we scrape across to clean the top of it like this in both ways to clean the top so we do it both ways to clean the tops off and then we use the brush to start cleaning this is where it takes elbow grease to clean all the grooves out of the built up grease finishing off I use the hand brush to make sure the grooves are all clean. Go both ways, both top and bottom. Never use any water on the grill themselves. These are dry and this is still hot. Ready? I now use dry rags to wipe and clean the grills to make sure there's no shavings or uh, carbon pieces left in the grill. So I wipe these off with, the, with this. Now to clean the outside of the waffle maker I use this product. It's Goof Off. It's a grease remover and you can see there's no residue, no fu harsh fumes, safe for most surfaces. I use a damp soapy rag and spray a little of this on it to clean the outside only. Do not do the grills with this. The outside only and then I take a clean rag, rinse it in sanitizer rinse it out and just wipe the outside of the waffle iron to make sure there's no residue on it. Now this is when I season the waffle maker. I cover it with rags so that it doesn't get the um, the spray on it. This is the original can that we've had for over a year and we wait till the temperature gets up to 183 which it's well over that now so it'll probably start coming back down and what we do is lightly spray the heads and then cook two or three waffles of course those first two or three you throw away by then the grill should be seasoned and you should not have to use any of the season clean anymore so which I'll demonstrate cooking without using the spray. Okay, I'm going to cook uh, a waffle without using any spray. We normally have it out front at 383. After you're done cleaning it, you want to cook a few back here. So after we've sprayed it two or three times and cooked two or three, this just demonstrates 
how to cook a waffle. When you do cook the waffle, hold the handle up for a few seconds. Let the waffle cook and season on both sides and puff up. Then when you let the handle down, it should stay horizontal. Then push your timer at 30 seconds or so is when you now push the handle down. You push it down. The waffle is about completed. Three seconds, two seconds, one. Okay, so now you lift the handle up slowly. And you'll see, there's our waffle. And it peels right out of there. Now, the more that's cooked, the easier they'll start coming out.